Hey, what's going on? This is Pastor Nate, and this week coming up is a big week. It's a big week for us all. What's going on, Pastor Nate? Now church is turning one years old. It's our one year anniversary, our first anniversary. And uh, me and LDT, we are so excited about it. And all on social media this week, we're going to be going back down memory lane. You got to be old school to remember that song. But we're going to be going back down memory lane. I think um, just today, we did our first ever service. And then yesterday, we did um, when we did our pop-up service. So we're going to be going back down memory lane, inviting people to be a part of a big weekend that we're having. What's going on, Pastor Nate? Sunday is going to be our regular Sunday service. We're going to have communion. we got a special treat for you Sunday morning. Um, we'll be updating everybody um, this week about what's going on Sunday morning. But then Sunday evening, we're having a concert uh, along with something else special. And we're so excited about it. We are ton of turning one years old, not me and and LT, but we now church because this is something that we've done together. And so invite as many people uh, as you can. How can I do that, Pastor Nate? We're going to put it on social media. So all the updates and things that you see, um, if you do us a favor and you go and share um, that stuff so everybody knows what's going on. I know you got an email and you may have saw it on my Facebook, now church Facebook. Uh, earlier, our media apartment is dope. It was totally my fault. We had a Teddy Riley uh, baby face moment. Uh, I tried to upload something and I saw it was still pending. So you got a little bit of information, but you didn't get the full story of what the Lord has spoke to us in this season. One of the things that I don't like to do, you know, we've said it now, church, we move by the cloud. That means whatever God is saying, it's not just for a theme for the year, but whatever the Lord is saying is the theme for worship. Whatever he's saying is a theme for the messages. Whatever he's saying is a theme for the feel at the building. I told you guys when we first started the church, we were going to be moving by the cloud. If the Lord says start in Century Center, we're going to be in Century Center. If he says go to Colbert or Carborough, we're going to go to Carborough. If he says go to uh, Colbert, we were going to go to Colbert. We said we're going to be moving by the clouds. We're going to take our bags, pack our bags, but we're not going to get too settled in there because, you know, God is always moving, always make opening doors, always making ways out of no ways. That's not just a word for the church, but that's a word for us all. And so at the beginning of the year, you know, I prayed and I prayed and I laid before the Lord and said, Lord, what's the theme for the year? And I didn't want to have the pressure just coming up with a theme and not really saying, this is what I'm confident that the Lord has said. This is what I'm sure by turning over my plate and seeking the Lord's face, the Lord is saying, this is it for the season. So what the Lord spoke to us in the first quarter after New Year's was built to last and God is so sovereign. God is so all knowing because we talked about there in Matthew, there was a wise and foolish building and says, whoever builds their house, sorry, whoever builds their house on the word of the Lord, that when the storm comes, that it'll be built to last. So we've been saying we're built to last. And the Lord said that won't be the soul, the whole word for the year, but for that quarter. And I think what God did was he prepared us what's going on with this pandemic that we're saying no matter Pastor Nate, what we're hearing and no matter what we're seeing and what's going on, we will not be shaken because our builder and maker is God. But just this past, uh, I think it was Friday, Friday or Saturday, um, the Lord, it was Sunday. Sunday morning, the Lord woke me up and he said, go back and read the passage of scripture. I'm, son, I'm about to give you a word for the church right now. I said, go back and read that passage of scripture in Exodus. I'm going to read it for you. And it says, uh, then the cloud covered the tent of the meeting and the glory of the Lord and filled the tabernacle. And Moses could not enter the tent of the meeting because the cloud had settled on it. And the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle in all the travels of the Israelites, wherever the cloud lifted from above the tabernacle, they would set out. But if the cloud did not lift, they did not set out until the day it lifted. 
So the cloud of the Lord was over the tabernacle by day and the fire was in the cloud by night in the sight of the, all the Israelites doing all their travels. So it's saying, you know, hey, the one of the messianic terms in the Old Testament for the Holy Spirit, because Jesus had not yet come, died and been crucified and the Holy Spirit had not been poured out to all believers. But it said that one of the messianic terms of the Holy Spirit um, two, I'll just give you two of them, was the cloud and by fire. So they were moving by the Holy Spirit. And so the Lord had me write down on a um, notebook and he said, enter. And he said, just write enter. And then he said, go ahead and read some more, start praying. So I started seeking the Lord's face that night, that morning. It was morning, it's 2.30 in the morning. He said, was seeking his face again. And he said, enter in. And so the Holy Spirit said, son, one of the things that you got to understand is even though they move by the cloud, cloud by night, fire by day, they never entered into the promise. They moved by the cloud, but they never entered in. And he said, now, the word for now, church, is to enter in. That y'all been obedient. Y'all been moving by the Spirit. You've been a Spirit-led church this first year so far. We're always going to be a Spirit-led church but you move by the cloud. If the cloud settled in one place, you stayed there and you pitched a tent and you built. If he said move, then you move. He said, but the thing about it, over in Joshua three and five, they didn't just go around and, and, and move by the cloud and see an area. It said they entered in. And the Lord is saying, now church, now it's time to enter in. Not just walk around the promise, not just see the promise, not just talk about the promise, but enter in. And I don't know what promise that you have been had your eye on for this past year that you've been hearing or you've been praying about. And the Lord said, you've been obedient. You've been built to last. He said, now it's time to enter in. Going in the year two, we're still going to be moving by the cloud, but we're also going to enter in. He gave me a scripture for it. Joshua 3 and 5. And I want to read it for you. Joshua 3 and 5. And it says, Joshua told the people, consecrate yourselves for tomorrow the Lord will do amazing things among you. Tomorrow, that's a word for somebody. Set yourselves apart. Consecrate yourselves. You have been moving by the cloud for tomorrow. God will do some amazing things for you. The Lord saying, now church, this year we are entering in to the promise. We're walking into the promise. We've been obedient. We've been moving about the cloud, moving by the cloud. But he said, consecrate yourself for God will do some amazing things for you. And I'm talking about everybody individually. God is going to do some things. He's been giving me some specific instructions of things that he's going to do for now church as a whole. And I'm going to be sharing that in. I'm sharing that coming forth, but he says, consecrate yourself for God is about to do some amazing things in your life. Our thing for this year, we will have subtopics, but our thing for this year is enter in. Consecrate yourself for tomorrow. God will do some amazing things in your life. So leading up to our anniversary on Sunday, uh, me and your first lady, we are consecrating ourselves. We are setting something aside for the Lord to hear further instructions for the Lord for the next five days. Now, I'm not sure when they're gonna get this video out again. Again, it's my fault, but the day that we're starting is Tuesday. You may be saying, Pastor Nate, um, what do we consecrate? You know what we've been saying all year to be dope on your level. We want you to do something that will make your flesh get quiet 
and your spirit man get loud. So that may be, some people may be doing only liquids. Some may, people may be doing sun up to sun down. Some may people be doing no bread. Some people may be doing no sweets. Some people may be doing no television, no Netflix, uh, no secular music, whatever that's going to make your flesh get quiet and your spirit man get loud. That's what we want you to do. Sunday, we're going to have communion. We're going to break this fast together and we're going to praise God and we're going to celebrate that tomorrow God is going to do amazing things in your life. We want you to consecrate something. Just be dope on your level. The Bible says it's not good for you to compare yourself to one another, but to do what's going to get God's attention. I want to get God's attention, but most of all, I want God to get my attention even more and saying, hey, consecrate yourself for tomorrow. God will do amazing things in your life. What a year we've had, but I tell you what, the best is yet to come. You ain't seen nothing yet. Enter in. One of the things that Tremaine said on Sunday, he said, run on and see what the end is going to be. And I've been saying, I've been saying this since he said it on Sunday, run. One of the things that happens is when there's a wilderness experience or there's a challenge, we can run and stop. But the Lord said, son, keep on running because on the other side is your blessing. I don't know what you need God to do, but I'm telling you, keep believing. I'm saying keep praising. I'm saying keep serving. I'm saying keep being a person of faith because on the other side is your blessing. Love y'all. Can't wait to see you soon. This is cool, but I'm ready to get back and do what we do. All right? God bless y'all. Enter in. So, as we always say, just be dope on oh, your yeah, level. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but the consecration, yeah. not equal gifts, but equal, equal sacrifice. Be dope on yes. your level. So, we don't want you to feel like, hey, if somebody's doing this and somebody's doing that, they're going to get more. Nope, right. you're just being dope on your level. Right. And so we were not going to give you a thing just because it was the beginning of the year. Um, but we want to hear and wait to hear what thus saith the Lord. And um, I will leave you with this. Joshua 1, 7 says, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips, meditate it on a day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean money means nothing missing, right. nothing broken in your life and successful. Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Don't be discouraged for the Lord. Your God will be with you for wherever you go. And he was with them in yes. Exodus. Yes. As the cloud, yes. wherever yes. they, wherever they went. So he's going to be with you wherever they went. So he was with them. But then it says Joshua. So Joshua ordered the officers of the people go through the camp and tell the people, get your provisions ready. Three days from now, you will cross the Jordan here to go and take possession of the land. Your, the Lord, your God, has given for you to own. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's enter in. Let's not do it individually. Yes. Let's do it as a group. Yes. And the thing about it is, you, you may be saying, well, Pastor Nate, this person, what if they, get a te they have a testimony before? Yep. We're entering in together. The manifestations won't all come at the same sure. time. But we're going in together. Yes. And so you hear somebody else's testimony, you ought to start clapping. Absolutely. You ought to start praising and saying, you know what? Woo, man, God did it for you. Yes. He doesn't have respect to person. Mine is already done. Run on. I don't know what kind of challenges you've been facing, sure. but run on and see what the end's going to be. Run on. On the other side mm -hmm. is your blessing. Amen. We love y'all. We miss y'all. Bye. <laughs> See you later. See you later. <laughs>